Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm Michelle Thomas. I'm a medical intuitive, energy healer, psychic, and transformational coach with Radiant Living and RadiantLivingHLC.com. Welcome to our Week Ahead forecast for June 27th. Wow. Whew. July. Can you? I can't even believe it. Like this year has just flown by. I hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. I am recovering after my Heal Yourself Challenge was last week. It was such a great event. I'm so excited to have been able to share that experience with so many beautiful and amazing people. Oh my goodness. So what's next? So let's see what's going on for us this week for the week of June 27th. So what's the energy that we have coming in for us this week is trust the universe, trust the universe. Okay. And I talked about this a lot last week. It's really important that you uh, set your intentions, right? Create those beautiful goals, like visualize all the things that you want to happen in your life, but you have to let go of control. You have to let go of the how and the when. You have to allow the universe to bring you everything that you need in divine packaging and timing. We try to hang on and control things in ways and we limit the magic and the absolute brilliance of the things the universe can bring for us when we try and control too many things. So this week, set your intentions, right? Take some actions towards them, but then like let go of the how. Trust and know that it's all coming towards you for your very highest and greatest good. So what are some obstacles that might get in our way is earth and ground, earth and ground, okay? We need to make sure that we are staying grounded because, and I said this again last week, is when we manifest, you need to bring all that energy inside your body and manifest in this human form, right? Visualizing is great, right? When we visualize our dreams and imagine them happening and coming true, that's awesome. It, it really is. But you have to still bring it into practice. You need to bring it into your body. So this week, make sure that you're getting outside, that you're finding time to really become uh, one with nature, really kind of um, going for walks or hikes, gardening, um, or even just doing some breath work to begin to really ground yourself in to Mother Gaia. So what, uh, what actions do we have that's happening for us this week? The card is forgiveness and understanding. So our actions that we can take is forgiveness and understanding. Again, it's really important that we forgive ourselves, we forgive others, um, and we come to the understanding that all the things that we've done throughout our entire life, they've led us to where we are right now, right? Letting go of any kind of guilt, shame, any feelings that you're holding against yourself or even other people, right? It, it limits your growth. It's time for you to understand the direction of your life and understand how all of these things, right? Your soul is here to learn things, to grow from them. See how you've gotten to where you are, but it's time to forgive yourself and others. It is not about acceptance. Forgiveness is you. Forgiveness is saying, I'm done energetically having this affect my life. Forgiveness is for you not for anybody else. You don't ever have to tell someone you forgive them. You can simply say, you know what? I'm, I'm doing this forgiveness work for myself, for my own soul, so that I can be the most brilliant, beautiful, shiny person that I can be. I'm ready to drop the bags and move forward, right? Okay, so what is spirit's guidance for us? Is raise your vibration. So, grounding right super important when it comes to vibrational work as well which is our sort of block that we have for this week however it's important that you raise your vibration frequency and here in the united states it's been a tough long weekend we'll say and with that there's a lot of kind of things like a lot of feelings that we're having right and so i'm just going to urge you to stay high vibrational and well, how do you stay high, high vibrational is you share love, you share gratitude. Um, you begin to really work on yourself and heal all the things that are affecting you in this lifetime, right? The other morning um, during my meditation, I sent love out to everyone. 
everyone in the world. I sent love out to the people who didn't share the same stance that I do when it comes to politics here in the USA. I sent love out to them because that's a high vibrational frequency. And you know what? I'm never going to send out ill will to other people because that brings my vibration down. I don't want that. So I'm going to send love and understanding and acceptance to other people, right? And what they, their, their shit's their own problem, right? But that doesn't mean that I can't share that out there. But again, I highly recommend taking a salt bath, right? Letting go of any of that vibration, anything that's stuck, any stagnant energy, moving your body is a great way to raise your vibration and frequency as well. Meditation, doing energy clearings, chakra clearings. Um, I have some in my free group, in my membership group, which is open. I do energy clearings as well as a lot of other things um, in that group. And they have access to a full meditation library of healing. And a lot of those things are actually cleansing your entire energetic body. So I highly recommend you do some sort of practice to let go of all of the crap, the onslaught of negative energy. Like don't let it penetrate you. Practice some psychic and energetic protection, right? This week, it's important that you stay in the light, right? Do not let other negative, other people, their negativity, the drama of all the things that are happening. I unfollowed a shit ton of people this weekend because I'm like, you know what? That's great. It's your opinion. I did not comment. I did not announce my departure, but I just went, I'm not gonna, not gonna engage because I'm going to do the work that I need to do. I'm going to fight in the way that I need to fight for things, but I'm not going to engage in negative drama and name calling. And I'm not going to get into the mud. Nope. I am shiny. I am brilliant. I have giant, big, huge white wings. I'm not going to get them dirty. So this week, trust the universe, right? You need to trust the universe. You need to forgive yourself. You need to come to that understanding of all the things that brought you to where you are right now, um, as well as you need to make sure that you're grounding yourself, getting outside, doing the, going and gardening, doing anything that's going to really allow you to feel grounded and safe and secure, open up that root chakra. Um, and then uh, again, raise your vibration frequency. You deserve it. Um, and if any of this made sense, if you want to join my membership group is open until Wednesday, the Align with Divine membership group. It is an amazing uh, healing container. Uh, every single month, there's healing meditations that are created, guides that help walk you through the energy of the month, as well as all of the things that you need to do in order to help heal what we work on. I go in and go live twice a month giving energy readings, as well as messages from spirit to help people get into their greatest and highest alignment for their very highest and greatest good. Uh, I also have my 10 week masterclass. The early bird pricing ends on Friday, July 1st. So if you want into 10 weeks of massive healing, you want to learn how to transform your life in 10 weeks, you can find all that information. Um, you can go to uh, radiantlivinghlc.com slash masterclass if that is something that you're interested in. If you want to know more about my Align with Divine membership group, you can go to radiantlivinghlc.com and go to healing classes at the top. And that will take you and give you all the information you need. But you're ready to heal and transform your life. I got some options for you. I hope you have a fantastic week. And hopefully I'll see some of you in my free group. You can heal yourself. Uh, and to, for tomorrow's Tip Tuesday, and I'm going to be talking about being in alignment with your soul's growth and how you can invest in yourself in a lot of different ways for your soul's highest and greatest good. So I hope you will check that out and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.